Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, Amy and I have decided to go out and explore Perth's Secret Fern Waterfall. I did head out here a few weeks ago by myself, but I was restricted on time. Uh, this time I'm gonna explore it a bit more, uh, show Amy to it for the first time, and should be good. Uh, so as you know, Perth is pretty secretive about this waterfall. Uh, no one seems to give up any clues, but after scouring Google Maps for hours and hours on end, finally found it, uh, pulled up. There's no cars around, so it's just us. Um, it's maybe a 10, 15 minute walk from where we park our car. Um, and maybe two minutes in you start to hear the waterfall flowing so uh, the ambience is really nice so peaceful and quiet uh, the birds are all about it's a nice beautiful sunny day and it's going to be an awesome day to hang out at the waterfall made it here it's a perfect day to get out and explore and it's just me and Amy really goes to show how secretive this place is and you can see why they call it the fern waterfall look how beautiful that is perfect place to do some long exposure as well the glare's terrible Beautiful as this. So we're going to take our shoes off so we can cross over here and explore over there a little more. Uh, see what's going on, see if we can find anything else um, around here and we'll see how, you know, see what's over there. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> water was felt like we were in lakes in Canada again it's freezing come on Amy so we made it across the river walked up the hill barefoot shoes back on now gonna go see what's somewhere this looks like a kind of path i want to see if we can get to the top of the waterfall because it's a bit dangerous to climb from the waterfall so hopefully this leads around to it um so we'll see found this little clearing so um assume it leads somewhere hopefully because we're walking uphill and nobody wants to walk uphill for nothing Amy comes, blending in with nature. Still trying to find our way through. Just try not to trample on anything that can be trampled on. And I'm just kind of following the clearing, but I hear water that way, path that way, I guess. Whoa. 
will I see some water. So the pathway started to deviate away from the river, so I think that's a dead end. I don't know if we've missed a little path or not, but um, we're gonna have to turn around and see if we can find another pathway in. Uh, but if not, we'll just have to head back and go enjoy it from the bottom. Because uh, I don't think, at least not what I've seen, there's a way to get up there uh, from the bottom. It's a bit dangerous because obviously it's really wet. But you can hear the water just over there. I think the waterfall is just over there. But no way through, so we had a little adventure. It was fun. Let's see what's down there. I think you walk up that way and get there. Ah uh, well, if I'm wrong, if there is a way up there, if you've been, let me know. Because uh, it would be fun to sit up top and um, just watch the water go. Uh, but now we're going to walk back, probably cross the stream again, and just go sit at the bottom of the waterfall. Alright, so we've noticed a few more people uh, rock up, so we're going to head off, let them enjoy it. Uh, it's, I guess it's not as secretive as I thought. Um, probably five or six groups have gone through, so um, still quiet. Still definitely not as bad as Les Murdy Falls and stuff like that, uh, where you get trampled on. Um, you can still enjoy it, uh, even go explore a bit more. Um, if you did enjoy this video, if you enjoyed Amy being back in it, unlike when I explored this waterfall last time, um, of course leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. And happy hiking, happy searching for the waterfall.